Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Okay, quite the soaking of rainfall last night through this morning. My goodness, here in town, officially 1.70 inches of rain. And uh, that's uh, the most rain we've seen in the last 10 to 11 days. Matter of fact, prior to last night and this morning, we had that stretch of 10 days in a row with absolutely no rainfall. It was good to see after the flooding, of course. Nonetheless, for the year, we're well above average, about 11 and a half inches now for the year, and that's about three and a half inches above where we should be. The radar scan right now, though, is pretty much clear. There is some moisture showing up the farther west you go. A lot of this is not reaching the ground. So in the next several hours, it will stay on the dry side, just an increase in the cloud cover. Beautiful live look, downtown Louisville, the Second Street Bridge as we Take a look at this shot from the Sheraton in Jeffersonville, looking back off to the south-southwest. Right now, 61 degrees, humidity 42%, a north-northeasterly breeze in here between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Tell you what, that sunshine broke through this afternoon from about Louisville and points off to the north-northeast, made for a beautiful Friday afternoon. The farther south you go, though, uh, there wasn't a lot of sunshine for E-Town, Bardstown, Hodgenville, Litchfield, our southern communities staying gray and on the cool side, but at least we dried out everywhere throughout the course of this day. There goes last night and this morning's wave of rain, a new one now developing. Again, a lot of this in Illinois, southwestern Indiana, that's not reaching the ground. When you get into the yellows and the reds, that is reaching the ground. And the heaviest of the rain from this next system will bypass us. It's going to stay off to the west-southwest. Having said that, yeah, a few light rain showers will become possible late evening through the early overnight across the viewing area. Best chances near Louisville and points off to the south. But by daybreak tomorrow, we're dry, just kind of overcast and cool as we wake up to upper 30s in our northeastern communities to the low and middle 40s elsewhere, right around 45 in downtown Louisville. Now for your Saturday itself, I think tomorrow's the pick of the weekend and here's why. Not expecting much in the way of rainfall, just quite a few clouds, maybe a hint or two of sunshine, but mainly cloudy conditions. Now temperatures, not bad. This is at or above average for the time of year. Middle and upper 50s, right around 58 degrees for the afternoon high in town. And again, basically a dry day tomorrow. Sunday, it's not going to be a washout. I want to make that clear right now, but a couple of light showers or sprinkles will become possible across the area, especially as we move through the afternoon. On top of that, I think Sunday looks to be a cool day with upper 40s and low 50s for afternoon highs. So here's the weekend forecast. Now we'll start off with your Friday evening, turning cloudy, a few light rain showers possible late this evening as we drop through the 50s. Uh, those showers will end by daybreak. We wake up cloudy, 45, holding on to mostly cloudy but dry conditions tomorrow afternoon, 58. There's that shower possibility on Sunday, a cool high of 50. Don't forget the clocks go ahead one hour before you go to bed tomorrow night. Rain is likely here Monday. That's a pretty powerful system right there. And yet another chance for rain in here. St. Patrick's Day there afternoon and evening on into next Thursday. So, you know, Vicki Rick, an active weather pattern. Umbrellas needed every so often. But I think tomorrow, a lot of clouds, not the world's brightest day. Hmm. But tomorrow looks to be the pick of the weekend. Hmm. All right. We're going to enjoy that then. <laughs> yeah, might as well, right? All right. Thank you, Jay. Okay.